G'day. In this video, I'll be building this awesome Kyosho Beetle 2014. Kit number 30614. Alrighty, so we've got all our parts laid out. Got the uh, bags split up into their respective tubs. And I've trimmed most of the plastic parts off the trees just to make it easier during the build make it a bit quicker so there's our instructions and decals over there and here we've got all our most of the tools I'll be using you know to uh, to build it as far as electrics I'm going to use the uh, Le Mans 490 motor and the Tower Pro knockoff <laughs> MG996R Metal Gear Servo and a Flysky FSGR 3E receiver. For the ESC, I'll be using this Hobbywing APWP 1060. I didn't actually have one of these when I started the build, so I did the build without it and put it in at the end. And that's about it. So, first things first, before we start the build. Oh yeah. Alrighty, let's get on to the build. Alrighty, so we start by fitting up the servo saver and as you can see that's all done and it's also got the shock tails on the front then most of the front ends complete apart from the arms and shocks and things and then it's time to move on to the back and we can fit on the uh, the chassis braces I guess you call them and then straight onto the gearbox Then as you can see here, I'm also fitting the rear shock tower, uh, the Le Mans 490 motor, and of course the pinion gear, and adding some grease to the gearbox before putting the side covers and stuff on, and the top cover. Now they give you uh, two different gear sets with it. You can use a 6.9 to 1 or an 8.3 to 1. So I went for the 6.9 to 1, so that's the uh, the 31 tooth pinion and the 38 tooth spur gear. And that's the gearbox all done, ready to go. Then we can get on to building the shocks. According to the instructions, we've got to fit the, uh, we've got to take out the red pistons and fit the white ones that come with the kit. I'm not sure if that's with all the kits or just, you know, later additions. So after the shock pistons have been swapped, we can fill the oil and, uh, you know, fit the springs up and things like that. And there's our shocks all ready to go. And these ball connectors for the shocks, they need to be sticking out 8 mil, so you need to measure that. Then we can fit the drive washers to the axles. Then there's our rear suspension all fitted up. And the front suspension. And don't she look pretty? <laughs> Okay, now after fitting the bumper, it was time to fit the radio. But before we can do that, we've got to fit the uh, little mounts for the, um, the battery door and the, the tub cover. Mm -hmm. 
And as you can see, I've uh, done a little bit of cable management in here using a bit of CA glue to stick that servo wire together. Um, it's only a cheap servo, so it doesn't matter. And as you can also see, there's no ESC in there yet because at the time I didn't have it, but now I do, and I fit it at the end. Now onto the tub cover. The only hole you have to make is the one for the switch right in the back there. Now right behind that there's the uh, little antenna hole. Because the antenna has the little protective uh, boot or knob on top of it, uh, I reamed out the hole to 6mm so it's much easier to get the uh, cover off and on. From there it was time to glue the tyres. So I started on the back, glued them up, and let them dry and then turn them over and glue the front. And now the chassis is all completed, minus the ESC. Uh, but as you can see, it's starting to look like a real buggy. Then it was time to get onto the driver and the body. And there's our driver guy all painted. Now I didn't get too um, into detail when I painted him because he sits behind tinted windows anyway. Now we can get on to painting the body. I wanted the yellow on the body the same as the wheels, so I started with PS6 yellow, a couple of coats of that, and then I did a couple of coats of uh, PS19 camel yellow, and then PS6 yellow again over the top of that. Well that's it guys, it's all finished. Looking good to me. Uh, a couple of things I want to show you, like with the body. After I did the yellow, I put a couple of pictures on Instagram there and um, somebody, uh, Mason's RC World, there's a shout out for you. Thanks mate. He suggested I paint some white on the inside and then some black. Just um, so it's supposed to be black inside if you look on the box, but me being a bit cockeyed, I thought it was just yellow. <laughs> anyway, so I got some liquid mask and went around the windows because I'd already taken the uh, the masks off by this time, of course. Um, so some liquid mask all around the windows and yeah, a light coat of white and then a couple of coats of black. Uh, looks much better, I think. The light buckets I didn't bother with because I don't plan on running the LEDs. Um, but yeah, I did mask the uh, the areas where the lights are anyway, just in the future. If I decide I'll put the buckets in, all good. Uh, the ESC, so I finally put it in. After it came, I had to order it, of course. <laughs> I actually uh, thought this one up here had... Um, I thought this one had the uh, ESC in the box, but that's an empty box. So probably don't need that now. So we might as well have a look at the ESC. Oops. Now, if I get this off. There we go. As I said earlier, I made this hole six millimeter for the antenna so I can get past this little knob here. Anyway, so there's the ESC. And uh, yeah, so basically run the wires out the bottom where they should be and cable tied up to here. Doesn't look very neat, but what do you do? I was gonna extend the wires and go without plugs or put Dean's plugs on them or something, but didn't bother. Did actually put a Dean's connector on the, uh, on the ESC there to get rid of the old Tamiya style plug because most of my batteries got those on them anyway and yep same with the other with the servo wire I um, folded up the uh, the ESC wire and uh, put a few dots of uh, CA glue in between just to keep them together other than that I could have used the cable tie but I don't plan on taking it apart so it'll be fine and it was much easier than pulling things apart and uh, you know shortening wires and stuff so that's about it yep. now because of current conditions I'll probably 
don't know when I can get it out for a run. I've still got to do something with the track in the backyard. Um, it's been raining off and on, so it's although the ground's easier to work, it's a bit of a pain. <laughs> so that's it. Um, all finished. I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, we'll get it out for a run soon and sh see how she goes. And also still have to get the uh, the Scorpion out and the Tomahawk and oh, I've got a lot of cars I have to get out. Anyway, I'll leave you with a little uh, montage and uh, see you next time. <laughs>